Thanks, Mike. Um, just, uh, just very grateful about how our kids responded. Um, it was a strange game, but it was a hard-fought game, a passionate game. I give Nevada credit; they played well. Um, really proud of how our guys hung in there and uh, kept battling, um, especially. Uh, later on in the game when we got the, the defensive stop and the missed field goal and then our offense responded and went down and scored, I thought that was really really a great, a great string of plays for our football team. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a big win. We made a lot of big plays. We missed a lot of plays that could have been big plays. Um, Braden was just a little bit off. Um, you know, in the second quarter, he had Torrey a couple times. He had Dylan, uh, Dylan Goffme a couple times. Um, really proud of how they handled the flea flicker coming out in the third quarter. Um, we just had thought we had a chance to get Torrey on a deep ball and in short yardage, and they grabbed him like two or three times on that play, and he still got loose. and And Braden got him the ball. I was proud of him on that. And then I thought the ball that that Braden threw on a dash pass was big time to, to Lewis Brown. I thought that was a big time play. And so, you know, we did a lot of good things. Uh, really, really proud of Chase Wilson. Went over 100 tackles today for the season. Um, his first year starting at linebacker. And, and I understand Jack Howell went over 100 tackles and uh, first defensive back to do that. Um, since they've been t covering those stats for DB. So, uh, you know, he's had a tremendous career here at Colorado State, and we're so proud of those guys. And, you know, I think most of all today is about sending our seniors off with a great memory here in Canvas and really proud of those 10 guys that walked before the game and, and their contribution to our program and, you know, They've set a great example for our young players, so I'm really proud of them. Do you feel like your team has grown up a lot in that even when they're making mistakes now the last couple of weeks, they're a little bit more resilient, they've bounced back a little bit better? Yeah, I think I think we are. I mean, we've been in a lot of tough games. I mean, I, I could hardly believe it was senior day today, you know, to be honest with you. I mean, we, uh, we you know, we played our first game, we had a bye, and then we just been, we've had our head down you know, for 10 weeks just trying to make it right. And, and so it's just we're here now at the end of the season and we have one game left. And um, But I do think our players have started to develop some competitive stamina. Um, you know, I think that's what we need. You know, that's what this program has been missing, um, especially the second half of the season and the last month of the season. And I think we're finding some competitive stamina to get us through these tough moments. And, you know, we've, we've been trained. I mean, we've had a lot of tough games. We've had a lot of close games. And, uh, you know, I think that's helped us develop that. How much, I mean, your back's average today, better than five yards per carry. How nice has it been to better late than never to get a run yeah. game? Yeah, I'm concerned about Avery. He, he got banged up a little bit. and. He started the game on fire. Uh, that first turnover and the drive I thought was outstanding. Um, so I'm concerned about him. I haven't got any updates. I know they took him to the hospital. Um, and uh, But Justin Marshall and Van Shield, uh, you know, they've been improving every week. You know, when I said it, I, I, I thought our run game is going to be really important before the end of the year, that we were going to improve, and we have. And it's going to be important again next week, you know. And so... Um, but I'm really proud of how we ran the football today. Can you just clarify what he was taken to the hospital for in, in general? I don't want to speculate. I know he had a – they thought it was a hit pointer, but it, they wanted to make sure it wasn't more than that. So he's going to get looked at. I don't have the details on that, but but they were concerned that it was more than just a hit pointer. Thank you. How do you sort of balance the, I guess, evaluation of – you know, the inconsistencies on the mistakes, but the resiliency and then big plays, you know, with it. It's frustrating. I mean, it really is. I mean, uh, um, we felt like we really had them dialed in on a couple big plays. 
and um, you know we're just a little bit off. The ball's a little long. Um, you know we, you know it's just we had several plays that we really thought would be great plays against them, and and um, we just didn't execute. You know, and and Braden's excitable. You know, Braden, you know knows a lot of these guys on this team, and and I think there was some of that going on in this game. You know, just a lot. A lot that goes with it, with the familiarity, and you know, I just got done, you know, uh, congratulating ten seniors, but I got almost as many on the other side of the field that are graduating, and um, got a chance to see some of those guys after the game, and that was great. You know, after last year's game, I'm, I mean, they didn't really want their kids talking to me, and I get it, you know, but I was really happy to see some of those guys and um, and let them know how much I cared about them and so um, you know it's frustrating you know when you when you know you have plays you practice the plays and you you believe they're there and and you just don't quite execute them so but we've got to keep working and and uh, you know I think Braden has got an opportunity to be sharper next week you That's guys it. are six of, you guys went six of 11 on drives tonight scoring um but you sound a little bit disappointed Is i thought we could have played better yes you know and and um i appreciate you, you making me aware of that you know i just felt like you know in the second quarter and then the third quarter we missed opportunities um that we really felt like we had great opportunities and um you know a tackle here a, a little bit long on a throw there a guy gets bumped on a an out and up. I mean, just a, a couple of things, and and so. But I'm proud of the big plays we did make. Um, they they were important in the game, and I'm I'm proud of how our defense hung in there. And and I thought our kids played clean uh, penalty wise. Uh, um, you know, we 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 did some good things uh, in that regard, um, and I think we kept our composure on the most part. How do you evaluate? Braden's day kind of as the whole. I mean, obviously he's a little inconsistent on some of the intermediate passes, but then Dylan has the drop on a could have been a touchdown on the pass, and then you mentioned the really good pass to LB for a touchdown. Right. Um, do you, at, at this point, how do you kind of evaluate? His I, I thought he was inconsistent today. I mean, he was. I mean, we were 15 of 31. We might have threw a reverse pass or something in there, <laughs> but but that's not a typical Braden day. I mean, he should be up around 70 percent. And um, you know we 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 kind of expect to be uh, you know 65, 70 percent throwing the football, and so it wasn't he wasn't sharp as he he needs to be, and and I think he'll be the first one to tell you that. But he did make some big plays and some big throws. You know I thought the the flea flicker he willed that ball to Tory and Tory willed catching it, and I've seen him do that a, a bunch of times and. You know, if it was his last game here, I was going to make sure that play got called. And, um, you know, and uh, so uh, I mean, hopefully he'll be back uh, next year. Um, but, you know, I thought Braden was inconsistent, and I think he'll be the first one to tell you that. How, what happened how, do, you get that, how do you get that consistency? You see the highs and what he can I, do, but the, it's a little bit of a roll that drives you crazy. The other side. I, I think he – I think he has to really get a handle on his process of playing. And when you're a young player, I think you kind of think you got it handled. And, and, uh, but you really have to prepare yourself for all those situations. And, and uh, he's, he's a young, excitable guy. He's full of confidence. We don't want to take that out of him. But he just has to, he has to control his process. Um, to be a more consistent player week in and week out. And, you know, we put a lot on him. And, and uh, you know, in the last couple of weeks, we've gotten a shot in the arm with our run game, which has helped him. Um, but he certainly can be better. And, you know, when we do run the ball effectively, we're going to create more big plays in the passing game. We're going to have more opportunities to throw the ball down the field. You talk a little bit about the inconsistency of the offense, but the defense in the middle part of this game, Nevada seemed to be able to move at will, but when they needed to steal down, they did. What did you like best about that ending performance? Just our resiliency and the way we hung in there. Um, you know, and I give Nevada credit. That's the best I've seen them play all year. They, they, and I knew we'd get a really good performance out of them and their best effort. You know, they ran the ball well. They throw, they threw the ball better than they have, and so, you know, we just had to withstand that. Um, and they did make it a game, you know, the 
the pick six helped them. I mean, that just I kick myself for that. But but I just I I give our kids credit for being resilient and playing through you know the fourth quarter and the rough rough patches of the game. That's something they've learned to do, and and that's what we have to continue to do if we're going to continue to win games. Does when you say you kick yourself for, for that pick six, is that just you trying to be too aggressive at the first half? Or I, you know, we could have ran the clock out. It's just not our nature, though, to be honest with you. It's just not. I mean, we have time to try to score. We felt like we had the plays to score. We felt like we had the players to score. And our players expect us to do that, you know. I mean, there were some guys that wanted to throw it at the very end there, and we had the play – but I couldn't do it, you know. I just couldn't do it, and I, a lot of part of us wanted to do it, but, but we couldn't do it. So it was the right thing not to do it. And, but I, but I, you know, at the end of the half, if we have time, we're going to try to score, and we practice those situations all the time. We just have to be smarter about it. And, and, um, you know, I did think we'd tackle them. I really did. Even if we turned it over, I thought we'd tackle them, and we we didn't. This, this ties uh, most home wins for CSU since the stadium opened. How important is it to you know, start turning this into a place you win most of the time? That's uh, part of our season uh, goals was to, you know, obviously have a winning season here in Canvas. We really want to go undefeated, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, we want to play well in front of our home fans. We want to play well and get that good feeling when we're in this stadium. And, and I'm going to be honest, at the beginning of the year it wasn't. We did not have that good feeling in, in Canvas, and um, but we've developed it and we've worked for it, and and I believe we have it now. Our kids really feel good about being home, and that's something that we've had to work on and develop, and and we want it to be that way all the time. We want people to have a hard time when they come here. We want it to be a a, tr a tremendous atmosphere. And, and I think we can be, and we have a lot to look forward to next year, you know, with the schedule and the type of atmosphere this place can be. Uh, and uh, we're excited about that. You talked this week, it was a playoff format just to get better. Now you can't really kind of avoid it. Do you talk, can they use the phrase bowl game? It's now? one to win now. We got to win one game. And, and um, you know, we're going to play an improving Hawaii team. You know, I talk to Timmy all the time. You know, they beat Air Force. I don't know how they did today. They they got, they got beat. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, they're an improving team, um, you know, and, and it's their last game, and they're like us. They want to finish on a high note. I mean, Timmy's been trained to improve at the end of the year like we are. And so, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a challenge, and it's not easy going over the that island and playing. Um, you know, we're going to use all our experience about how we go play over there to help our players be prepared. And, um, you know, it's going to be important that we take that uh, what's important now mentality to this week and really get ready to play a good, a good you know, competitive Hawaii team. Okay, you how, how, does it feel, how does it feel, though, to know that you turned this team around to winning the most games since 2017 in this program? It's it's a good feeling. I mean, I'm 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 I mean tonight tonight was hard. It's it's hard, man. It's hard to win games. So it's just, um, and I'm but I'm very proud and, and and of our guys. And I I know that they have more in them. I really do. I believe in our team. I believe in our players. Um, we have some tremendous uh, leaders on this team, and they're they really want to lead this team to a successful season. And so it's not over till it's over, and, and we still have another week. Um, and it's a game that we believe we should win. It really is. And so um, we've got to go prepare to win it, though. And that's what we've been trying to teach this team, is that if you want to be a winning program, if you want to be looked at as winners, then you have to, you have to sacrifice and prepare to win. And uh, it's not so much as what you do on Saturday as what you do throughout the week. And so we're going to get that challenge again this week. And um, you ask me that question in a few weeks, I'll have a better answer for you. Jay, Chase's a missed field goal that they had that kind of swung momentum a little bit there in the second half. Um, Mo has this big sack to, set, to push him back a little bit. What did that mean to see him in this final game here make such an impactful play in the game? You know, I'm so proud of Mo. I mean, 
Mo is just a, a just a big ball of will. That's all he is. I mean, he just he just he just he wears it on his sleeve every game. You know, the official came over, and I love Cal. He's one of my favorite officials. But he said, he said, you got to control number eight. You know, and I said, well, tell me what he's doing, and I'll tell him. He goes. I said, is he doing something after the play, pushing and shoving or something? He goes, no, it's during the play. I said, well, he's supposed to do that during the play. <laughs> you know, I said, be more specific, Cal. I'm, I'm trying to listen here. Um, but anyway, um, you know, Moe's just relentless, you know, and, and uh, that's, that's, that's what people love about him, and that's what makes him a, a great pass rusher because he just never stops. Justin comes up just two yards short of 100 again today. I mean, how important was it for him to back up last week and maybe prove to himself that this that last week is something he can replicate on a regular basis for you guys? Oh, I think he's gained a lot of confidence. Um, and, you know, for a young guy, it's so important, uh, you know, that, that he is helping the team. He's doing his job. He's doing the things that are helping his teammates be successful. And, um, I'm just proud of him, you know, that he could do that here at the end of the year. And, you know, next week's going to be big, too. He's going to be on the road in a different environment. And, um, you know, but, but, but those runs have given us a tremendous shot in the arm. You talked about new defensive starters that we're going to have to play a role and grow up a little bit. Chase Wilson was actually one of those guys. What have you seen in him this year? I mean, a hundred tackle season in his first year as a starter. You know, I'm just so proud of him. He's such a passionate guy, and and uh, um, you know, he just brings that to the whole defense. Um, you know, and and Jack's the same way, and Henry's the same way, and um, they're right down the middle of our defense. And so, uh, but I'm really proud of Chase. Uh, he's he's he had a big week last week, and then he comes back and has another big week this week, and so. We're going to need that again. You know, we're going to have to go to the well again and, 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 and play our best football next week to win, and he's going to be a big part of it. Jay, I know you're proud of all these guys, but you mentioned Henry there. He obviously had to go through a lot this season not really having to do the football. What can you say about a guy like him stepping up, making two huge plays in this one? He's just – he's he's – you know, he's one of us. He's one of those guys. I, he's, he plays the game the way it's supposed to be played. He's very physical. He's very passionate. He's very tough. Um, and I love him for that. I mean, that's the way we want to play defense here at Colorado State. And he has had a tough year. He's had a lot of different things happen to him off the field. Um, you know, a lot of them were out of his control. And I think he's handled it really well. And it never has really phased him, you know, as as a as a player, as a leader, and the way he attacks practice and everything else, and so, you know, I I take ten like him, you know, um, um, but he just he's a he's a classic safety that loves to play and lo loves to run and hit, and uh, he loves his teammates, and he brings that passion every day, and uh, rubs off on everybody else. Feels good. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Guys. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.